Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews. That 40 ish and under dollar range, most of these are way less than that. And a good number of these you can find at your local rack stores. And let me tell you, I have been totally striking out at my local Ross. I don't know if you guys have been as well, but for me, it's just been a barren desert wasteland of absolute nothing, same old junk. And if it is something that's fairly good, it's something I already have. It's just been Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and Burlington as far as my local stores that have been coming up with anything. Even Bell's I've been having better luck at. So I meandered on over into Ross like I usually do. Let me tell you, I was thoroughly, thoroughly surprised and happy that I found something I didn't even know that I was looking for until I seen the box. I'm talking about Salvatore Ferragamo's Aqua Essential. So, this is a one ounce bottle. Found it for like $16.99 or $19.99 or something like that. It looks just like the Aqua Essential blue bottle, except different color scheme. And uh, the atomizer cap is nice and heavy and metal. Has this awesome clicking ding when you, when you snap it into place. Atomizer itself, it's a bit on the weaker side, but whatever so one of the reasons why i was so happy when i seen this thing is because if you know me whatsoever if you know this channel at all then you've known that i've made mention of aqua Essentiale blue right this is my second bottle look at the juice level already i've got a bunch this is my second bottle of a hundred milliliter bottle Right, and I'm taking that much out. I wore it yesterday. That's how much I like this thing. And Alberto Marias does that one. He does this one. He does Aqua de Gio. He does Versace Dillon Blue. A lot of my favorite fragrances, that man does. Every one of those has some kind of a little sprinkle of like magic or something in the things because they have this certain element to those fragrances that just grab you. With a Versace Dome Blue, it's that incense note for me, and it just like captivates me. Um, CK All, there's something about that juicy, crisp uh, citrus that he has going on. It's like an extra sparkle that, that's in that thing. All of his fragrances are just awesome, and he did this one. So, better believe I picked it up. It was like 16 or 19.99. I forget which one, but regardless, I had to scoop this thing up. So, what you can expect from this one is it opens up with this really 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 refreshing uplifting lemon mint combination the mint isn't as dominant say as like in polo sport where that has a very unique and prominent mint opening this one is it's in there but it just kind of helps um it helps make this thing a bit more refreshing and uplifting it's just there just enough to invigorate the opening of this fragrance and it actually hangs on the mint hangs on longer than any of the other top notes in my experience get the dried on my hand i can still get elements just hints of that mint this also has florals it's got like geranium and stuff it's got vetiver there's like some um, some rosemary in this but mainly it's that fresh, invigorating, refreshing, uplifting, mint, lemon combination up top. Now I say that and you think it's just gonna be some kind of crisp citrus fragrance freshy, but it's not, it's anything but that. This is a citrus, summertime, easy, pleasing freshy, but there's hints of like some, some classiness in this thing. There's hints of that. This has kind of grown up a little bit, but not so much that the younger crowd will not enjoy this thing because it's super inoffensive, definitely office friendly. It's super worthy for like the high heat and stuff. That's what it's geared for. But somehow or another, this has a touch of class, some semi-formal class. Not sure what it is that's doing that in this. Maybe it's a little bit of the, um, the rosemary or something, rosemary vetiver that's going on in this, but there's also that little sparkle that's in this thing that just captures me. And I only get bits and pieces of it through the life of this thing here and there. It's not something that's always there, but sometimes I'll catch a whiff of it and be like, wow, what is that? And it almost reminds me of that incense that's in Versace Dillon Blue. I know there's no incense or anything like that. This don't even really share that many similarities, but there's some kind of element like that in this that does that same thing overall performance on this 
isn't that bad for a fresh fragrance it's a five hour fragrance and the projection is like average you know it's a two or three foot for for an hour or so but for the life of it i will be catching whiffs of myself for a good three to four hours into this thing and be happy that i am because to me this is a seven out of ten fragrance it really smells good. Now, if the performance was, was bumped up, this thing could easily be like an eight. But just as it is with the average performance and everything, it's a seven out of 10, which is a very solid rating. Super worth what it is. Smells much more expensive than what it is. Um, it's synthetic. It is synthetic, but it's a nice synthetic, a very easy to wear synthetic, like, um, like Diesel, only the Brave, like how that's like a synthetic fragrance, but it just has, it's just done balanced, just done really well. And the same thing with this one, very, very well done, synthetic, fresh, citrusy, aromatic kind of a fragrance. It's aquatic at the same time. There's, um, there's a bit of saltiness coming from somewhere in this. There's no salt listed. I'm gonna spray it again. Actually, I'm gonna get some of that opening on me, man. I enjoy this thing. You don't really get so much of that saltiness in the opening, but it happens farther along in the dry down. Right now I'm getting a lot of that lemon and the mint. Smooth, smooth mint. It's not super sharp or abrasive, but it's there. And then that's gonna disappear and that vetiver is gonna come out right alongside the florals, definitely picking up on some of the geranium. But man, if you want a summertime fragrance, this was done in like 2014 or something like that, and it's still super relevant 10 years later in 2024, this is definitely worth looking at. It's a very, very, very well done, inexpensive, cheap, fresh fragrance. And with summertime coming up, this is definitely worth looking at. It really is because it's not going to be really redundant because it doesn't remind me of anything right off the bat but it shares a lot of the same notes as other fresh fragrances, but the way that this is done just isn't as um, redundant as those other ones. So I'm gonna be wearing this thing a lot, I can assure you that. And uh, yeah, seven out of 10, average performance, but man, I can tell this is gonna be a compliment kind of a fragrance too. So uh, that's my final thoughts on Salvatore Ferragamo's Aqua Essential, the original with that. I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.